What is going on guys, it's Andrew back again with another video in today's video. I'm going to be talking about why I don't think sets and seasons will really ever work in MLB The Show. Just to take a look right here, we're currently on the seasons track for this game. You can obviously see that season 2 ends pretty much at the end of this month in about 2 weeks time. And then we got season 3 coming out in the game, you know, till no pretty much November. Which is probably, honestly, when I'm going to stop playing the game. Honestly, after season 3, I mean, after that, I don't really be playing MLB The Show, you know, after Thanksgiving in my opinion. And then you have season 4, which honestly goes to November, you know, to December 23. 37 which is kind of funny but it is weird that they don't have like an all seasons or all you know sets kind of thing like they did last year or pretty much any card in the game you could use so that is interesting this year i did notice maybe with the more wild cards i don't know what they're thinking about that but it's pretty interesting to really see but now that i looked through all like this recap stuff and realized like i did everything in season one and i just haven't played in season two you know it just it says to me that i just don't care enough about this game to like re-unlock all the cards or anything because there has been some cool cards that have came out like don't get me wrong like there's been this new moments of glory program that came out with this obviously Jordan Alvarez card that looks really cool with the whole card art and the stats are pretty good as well you even have the no hitter cards that came out in the drop nine and drop eight which look good this Tony Gwynn card was pretty good the hall of fame programs were pretty solid but I just think for me I'm like why should I even earn any of these cards when I know they're gonna reset in 14 days like you know what I'm saying like why would like, why, why would I even want to do that that's kind of how I look at the game and especially knowing kind of like how it's gonna go I I know this whole team i even have or even my main team i was even going to use or whatever i know these cards are going to go away so it's like why should i even bother to try to get the new ones that's kind of how i look at it to be honest like i know for me since i don't spend money on this game i'm just trying to get the babe ruth card at the end of the day like he's still one of the best hitters in the game i think in my opinion so you know i'm just trying to save up for this dodgers program to get this otani and stuff because i don't spend money on the game that's really the only motivation i haven't have to play the game right now like i said all these cards are cool and everything but like at the end of the day i don't really care about them if it's not a core card then it's kind of whatever you know what i'm saying which is only the Ernie Banks card. So I don't know, at the end of the day, it's like whatever. Because at that point, you're just looking for your best four cards to put it as wild card slots. So that's just why I don't think it's going to work. Like when I honestly think about my best cards I've used, it's probably the season one cards. Because like, that's when the online was really fun to play for me. Like this Bobby Wood Jr. card right here. It was not the best overall, but I'm just a really good hitter with him. Even if I look at a lot of these season one cards, this is one of the season one kind of things I had. Like this Gunnar Henderson was a lot of fun to use. Like a lot of the season one cards were just really fun to use in my opinion. Like all these cards I had were just a lot of fun to kind of use and go through. I and mean, we can take a look at all the wild cards right here. Like this Ryan Jeff, the Mookie Betts was fun too. Forgot about him. I don't know, there's a lot more fun cards I feel like I had the chance to use and I never got to. And now that season one's over, I really can't use them again. Like the whole team, like I wanted to. You gotta use them in different like increments, which kind of sucks. You know, at the end of the day, it's kind of how I just look at this game. And that's just why I don't think it's gonna work because I think people are gonna have a similar mindset with me if they just did not play the game. It's like, all right, why play? I'll play when the new update comes out. If I like some of the cards, maybe I'll stick around, maybe I won't. But at least if I had the chance to use all the cards I've been already had, then I'd play the game more. I think just the simple factor of where they're getting it wrong with the season cards or anything like that. Like me personally, I would love to see if we go back to this screen because I think this is the best screen to look at it. I don't know. In my opinion, I would love to have, you know, season one, you know, when the game launches or whatever. And season two is, you know, you get to use the season one, season two cards with the core cards. Season three comes out and then you can just use you know season two season one like that's that's how i personally like to see it so you can still use all the cards because i guess the main factor that i'm not having fun with and that a lot of people are not having fun with i think you can still do seasons and diamond dynasty just like just let us use the cards that's really what i think most people want to have at least in online play yeah what are you guys thoughts on this season stuff i know a lot of people just hated it when it was even announced and honestly i saw i heard some people that weren't even gonna get the game because of it that's just because it's just a hated feature but i wonder what they're gonna do moving forward with the whole seasons the sets thing gonna be pretty interesting i think Think, you know with that whole system because i don't know me personally i don't think it's worked the way they wanted to or maybe the, the way they intended at least for me and i know i'm speaking for a lot of people as well all right let me get your thoughts on the season and sets thing in the comment section down below this is the second year they've done this they did it in 23 for the first time then they do it in 24 for the second time i really wonder if they bring it back since a lot of people don't like it i'd definitely be very curious to hear you know the feedback they're getting from it and just if they're going to do it again because i think it'd be very interesting but let me get your thoughts on this in the comment section down below what do you guys think about sets and seasons and with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this one i'll see you guys in the next one peace everyone